In the previous video, we discussed about the mechanism of nodule formation. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we are discussing the nodule formation signaling. In this signaling pathway, the signaling molecules are node factors, which are produced by rhizobia. Receptor molecules are NFR1 and NFR5. And the signaling mediators are SYMRK and calcium ions. So these are the basic signaling proteins and molecules that we are going to deal with. Here in this diagram we have the plasma membrane having NFR1 and NFR5 in the form of receptor monomers. And we also have SYMRK that symbiosis receptor like kinase protein on membrane. And on the inside we can see we have the nucleus. Now let's start the signaling pathway. First of all when there is nitrogen limitation in the soil, the plant synthesizes and releases flavonoids as shown in the diagram. The flavonoids are synthesized by flavonoid genes like CHS, CHR, FNS. So after flavonoids are released, the rhizobia are attracted towards the flavonoid source as shown in the animation. Then rhizobia upon close proximity with root here secretes node factors. These node factors are received by NFR1 and NFR5 shown in the animation. This ligand binding drives dimerization of NFR receptors and starts mediating signaling. First of all, we get the activation of SYMRK on the membrane. And along with these molecular interactions, we get the influx of calcium ions when the calcium channels are activated. Now we can see the calcium concentration within the cell is getting pumped up. Furthermore, the activation of SYMRK and NFR proteins also activates the ion channels in the nuclear membrane. The calcium ion channels like castor and pollux are getting activated which drives influx of calcium ions into the nucleus. Now we see the increase in the calcium concentration within the nucleus activates MCA8 protein which pumps calcium back out ending the spike. So we can say castor plox does the influx of calcium ions whereas MCA8 does the efflux of calcium ions. And from that process we get the calcium spiking which is depicted in an image. This calcium spiking is decoded by CCAMK protein and further mediates the signaling. The activated CCAMK first binds and phosphorylates the cyclopes. And then to this cyclope CAM also binds as shown in the animation. This activated complex molecules of cyclopes CAM and CCAMK is now the transcription regulatory molecule. This cyclope then gets to the DNA and binds CYC box and drives the transcription of monster regulatory gene that's NIN. This NIN or the nodule inception gene is the monster regulator of nodulation and furthermore it activates plethora of genes. First of all, NIN drives transcription of infection related genes which includes NPL1, ERN1 and SCAN. The NPL1 and ERN1 drives infection thread formation whereas the SCON drives the actin rearrangement for infection. Secondly, the NIN drives activation of CRE1 which further mediates cytokinin signaling from where we get the cortical cell division. Then there is activation of LHK1 that aids in cell cycle regulation and cortical cell division. And finally, we see the NIN activates nodule organogenesis genes like it activates NFYA1 gene which then activates NSP1, which in turn activates E nod 11, E nod 12 and E nod 40. This NFYA1 also activates CYCB that helps in cell cycle divisions again. So all in all, we can see the NIN activates all genes needed for infection and nodulation. So this is what the nodulation signaling looks like. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.